these small Central Texas churches. The faithful raise their voices in worship alongside descendants of the immigrants who more than 100 years ago built the painted churches of Texas. There's just something holy about how beautiful it is in here. Soaring Gothic arches leading to blue skies with delicately painted vines and flowers. The work of German and Czech immigrants who came to this rough land in the mid-1800s. Our great-grandfathers and our grandfathers built things. Now, their great-grandchildren are preserving their ancestors' history and art. And they'll go, <gasps> they'll gasp because it's so beautiful. It amazes me every day that you can find something this beautiful in the middle of nowhere. There are six painted churches in the Schulenburg area, and this is the Queen, St. Mary's Catholic Church in High Hill, considered one of the most beautiful churches in America. You have to be uh, affected by it every time you walk in. It, to me, it looks like a Fabergé egg. It's just exquisite. When the immigrants immigrated to this area, they wanted to recreate the beauty of the churches they left behind in Europe. To make the new churches more like the ones they left, the immigrants used a profusion of color and faux finishes to create what didn't exist. We didn't have marble in the state of Texas, so they actually created marble with turkey feathers on all the uh, pillars. On the walls, scripture written in the settlers' native tongue has been restored. By the busload, tourists from across the state and around the world visit these churches. The tour has so far been just astounding and impactful um, in its beauty and its serenity. These are testimonies to people who had something that they needed to get out and share. In Praha, Czechs built St. Mary's, the oldest of the painted churches. The paint that's on the ceiling is the original from 1895. Looking at the ceiling is like a glimpse into heaven, complete with hand-painted angels. He painted um, flowers that were from Texas, and it looks like the Garden of Eden with Texas flowers in it. They finished building this one in uh, 1911. Fayette County Judge Ed Yanechka grew up in Davina, in the church his Czech ancestors built, but it was missing its splendor. For whatever reason, in 1952, they painted over everything uh, that you see today. Whitewashed throughout. In the 1950s, the brilliant blue ceiling with shining stars, along with the other artwork, disappeared from St. Cyril and Methodius. When I was an altar boy, a uh, young fella, uh, you could kneel right there and, 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 you know, the sun would come just about right through and you could see the stenciling. Uh, through the paint. In 1983, so he led the effort to restore the church his great-grandfather helped build. And we had set up scaffolding, and, and I knew that there were angels above each pillar, and it was like an archaeological find. Uh, you did a little paint remover here and there. And the angels were then carefully recreated. Using original stencils, they brought back the church's colorful history. And then, uh, this is for the next generation, and the generation after that. I mean, at least people can see uh, you know, what our forefathers did. Christianity is a journey. Beyond the beauty and the art, many believe the churches hold heartfelt intentions of generations. My friends and I are also the disciples of Jesus. Father Wayne Flagg is pastor of St. Cyril and Methodius. I think the, the older a building is, a, a, a place of worship, uh, it, it somehow carries with it, all the prayers and faith of the people that uh, went before it. They are small sacred spaces, inspiring awe for more than 100 years, lovingly crafted by immigrants who longed for the comfort of home and the familiarity of faith. The painted churches of Central Texas, treasures for the ages.